Morning. So we're back out at the, the machinery sites at the National Plowing Championships. I'm on the Bassic stand and I'm here with Ray McNally uh, from Bassic UK. Ray, for, for those of us that might be too familiar with the Bassic name, tell us a little bit about the company. Bassac have been in the agricultural industry for 100 years. They are Turkish based. They're part of the Sanko Machinery Technology Group, which is a massive organisation of nearly two billion turnover. And they've got great big intentions, very serious intentions about Ireland. And we're really excited to be having the official launch at the National Ploughing Show of our Basak tractors. Okay. Ray, this machine here behind us, the 5120, tell us a little bit about that, go through some of the features on it. The 5120 has got the uh, Deutsch Tier 4 final engine. It's 120 horsepower. We have the ZF power shuttle transmission with 32 forward, 32 reverse gears, four power shifts, and we have ZF axles. So the drive line is nothing new. It's a reputable drive line that farmers are familiar with. Uh, we also have hydraulic trailer brakes and air, and the finish, I think, I would hope you would agree, is a superior quality finish that is very pleasing and aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Yeah. Um, Ray, what's, what's this, the, this tractor, where, where's the, what market is for this tractor? Are you going for the contractor, are you going for the, maybe the large scale farmer? Who do, you, who do you want this? Well, I think in the Irish market this is a perfect tractor, 120 horsepower with the power shuttle, will appeal to a lot of medium to large farmers, it will appeal to the livestock, it will appeal to the dairy farmer, so it's a real multifacet uh, tractor. That, yeah. that I think ticks a lot of boxes. Okay. Ray, you're in the process of setting up a, a dealer network in Ireland. Can you tell us a little bit about the insights into that? Well, we appreciate that. However much uh, Blarney, the salesman, can give, you're not going to get repeat business if you haven't got the support in place. So the first priority for Basak is to secure a dealer network covering the whole of Ireland. Uh, we, we, we already have uh, had meetings and I'm pleased to say that we already have eight dealers who have agreed to, to, to join up for Basak. Yeah. So how soon can we expect to see these at your uh, full haul in the Irish market? Uh, the full production, because this is a prototype of what's to come, the full production will be coming in November. So they'll be landing here November onwards in, for, from full production and you will also then see at that point uh, realistically 12 Basak dealers in place. Okay, Ray, I just want to move you over here to the, to the telehandler. Uh, tell us a little bit about this machine. The telehandlers uh, are back to basics, simple to use. You've got your Perkins engine, 100 horsepower engine. This is a, you've got your, your, your Bosch Rexroth hydrostatic transmission. And again, the simplicity of this one, this is unlike the tractor where it's the all singing or dancing, this is a back to basic, simple to use. This particular one is a nine metre, but they, they have the whole range from seven metre agricultural spec right through to your 18 metre construction spec. And would you find that so far most of your customers are coming from the construction centre or sector or are you coming in breaking into the agricultural sector? Well initially, initially we, we're going to be concentrating on the agricultural sector. This is the market why we're here today. Yeah. And uh, so the seven metre and the nine metre is pertaining to the agricultural sector. Okay. Uh, the, the, the higher range will be more of the construction industry, but that's to come. Okay. That's to come. Okay. Ray, we were just saying before we went live on the camera, do you know what I mean? Some of these machines came from Turkey, so an, an awful lot of organising must go into getting ready for the National Plowing Championships. Well, our, serious in, our intentions are very serious. Uh, about Basak and it, it is a lot of organising, a lot of expense, a lot of time, but all of that culminates in how serious Basak are. You know, we have a, a Basak factory representative here uh, to support us and to help us and to show their serious intentions. So it, it's, we, we believe it'll, it's worthwhile and you have to speculate and uh, Irish market is a key serious market for us. Okay. And just on, on the time frame, you know, how, how long are we, are we talking to get the machines from say Turkey over to Ireland? Well, part of that support is they're going to be keeping stock for us. Okay. So we ourselves will carry stock in the UK, but our dealers here will be carrying stock in Ireland. Every dealer will be holding stock. Every dealer will be holding parts, fast moving parts and service kits. Um, but to if for whatever reason we can't provide a tractor or a telehandler, 
then from Turkey, you're talking roughly from four weeks from placing an order, landing here in Ireland. Okay, and I'm assuming with with the dealer net, uh, network that you're setting up in Ireland, there's going to be, um, do you know what I mean, an on the road field service. You know, technicians go out for breakdowns. Uh, absolutely. Uh, part of the criteria of the dealers, they have to have a mobile fitter. The factory provides a four-day product familiarity course to go through an accreditation process. Uh, each, de each dealer will hold parts, fast-moving parts, mobile vans, and look, it's a, it's a tractor. I'm not going to stand here and say, this is fantastic, this is perfect. Something somewhere is going to go wrong. But the key element for BASAC and the key principle, you have to respond quickly. Yeah. This is new, we are the new boys on the block, yeah. so we're there to be shot at now and we have to prove ourselves. Yeah. So we will go the extra mile. Good. Well, Ray, thanks very much for, for having a chat with us today. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much indeed.